Hey, what's up everyone? Shane here with ROA Off-Road. Today I'm out in front of a Explore X195 and this is the Tan Edition. Really cool trailer. Today I'm going to go over some technical stuff, some things that I think is extremely important, especially if you're a new owner or you're thinking about buying one of these trailers, not just an Imperial, but even a Paws or any of our trailers that have an airbag suspension system. So a lot of people are wondering, why do I even want airbags? What's the purpose? Well, think about it. Cadillacs, you know, nice high-end luxury vehicles that typically are riding on airbags. And the reason is because it's very smooth, soft suspension, right? So when you hit that off-road, you want it to go smooth down the road. The nice thing about like a Cadillac or a nice Mercedes Benz, typically their whole air suspension is just kind of automatic. You don't think about it, you just drive. That's not the case for all of the off-road trailers. You have to adjust the suspension on the fly, depending on your situation. But generally speaking, what do you use the airbag suspension and what settings do you need to set it up to be able to have the best ride possible? That's the stuff that I'm gonna get into, so let's get into it right now. So like I mentioned earlier, in a like a Cadillac with airbags, typically you just set it and you go, and there's nothing you do, you just drive. But the, the main reason why is because you're pretty much always in drive mode. With a trailer, you're not always in drive mode. There's different modes that you can be in, for example, you could be at camp and maybe you know the stair entryway is a little high so you might want to adjust your airbags and drop them all the way down to the lowest setting so you can get in and out of your trailer easier or your kitchen is maybe a little higher your storage compartment so you have that adjustability to lower it all the way to the ground and then also you have the ability to level the trailer side to side of course you can't do that in a standard car with airbags they're usually just set at 50 percent because that's usually the ideal ride height and it's the same with the trailer so when you get to camp the cool thing about airbags is gonna allow you to be able to level side to side now when you're driving people always wonder well where should I set it at and I say in the middle you're typically gonna be setting it anywhere from 45 to 55 psi you know give or take a little bit depending on your truck height you're not really gonna want to go above or below that while you're driving down the road and they say well what if I get off-road what do I do nothing you stay at the exact same spot and the reason think about this for a second i like to think about it as a ball today i got a soccer ball right here football for the rest of the world uh if you drop that on the ground you can see it's completely deflated usually it's ideal not to have things deflated besides if you play football and you're a new england patriot so as you can see there's there's no give on this ball you step on it and it's right on the ground so if you put your airbags down to the lowest setting and you start driving down the road, essentially what you're doing is you're putting it onto the bump stops and when you're driving, there's no suspension, there's no cushion, it's just hitting that rubber on rubber and your trailers are gonna rattle apart. And the whole purpose of these incredible suspension systems is to allow your trailer to not rattle apart. So everybody's like, okay, so when I go off road, what do I do? I, I go to the max height to have the most clearance? Well, the answer is no. Let me show you what a ball does when you have pump it up all the way. Another cool thing about airbags and air suspension is you have an onboard air tank and you have some air tools that come with the Explore, including a little needle in there that you can use to pump up soccer balls or rafts or bicycles, whatever you want. So let's get this ball pumped up and I'll show you what fully inflated airbags does. There is our deflated useless soccer ball. So let's pump it up. Okay, and now you have an inflated soccer ball that is literally as hard as a rock. You do not want to play with a soccer ball that bounces higher than a basketball. So if you ever played basketball or soccer with a fully inflated ball, you'll notice like catching it, kicking it, dribbling it, it's, well, First of all, it flies all over the place. It's bouncing all over the place. It's same thing with your airbags. Think about your airbags as a basketball or a soccer ball. If you completely inflate it, what's gonna happen with your trailer when it's driving down the road off-road? It's gonna be bouncing all over the place. You do not want your airbags fully inflated. Well, then what's the purpose of fully inflating them? Well, say you come up on an obstacle and you're gonna drag or bash in your metal or something under your underbelly, you can pump it up you can clear the obstacle and then you immediately bring your airbags back down to 50% and then you'll have that cushiony ride. So think about this soccer ball. We deflate it a little bit, not all the way down where it's hard and there's no give, not all the way full where it's hard and there's no give, 
but right in the middle where there's a lot of cushion and this is going to be a nice not good for playing soccer or basketball but really good for trailer suspension to drive down the road and when you get to camp you can drop the bear airbags all the way down to zero and then you can level it in any direction and the reason why you want it to go all the way up is potentially maybe you're on a weird slope and you want some extra you know travel to be able to level out your trailer that's really what the airbags are for is leveling and also to be able to clear an obstacle in that event that you get to somewhere that you can't get over and then lastly bring it to the 50 percent mark and you're going to travel down the road really really nicely and the trailer is going to tow and travel unlike any trailer you've ever towed if you've ever towed solid axle trailers or trailers with leaf springs or torsion axles those trailers they do not tow very good they don't have a lot of give they bounce all down the road these trailers with independent a-arm airbags are by far the best towing trailers i've ever towed you're gonna love these trailers and this works across all of our trailers whether it's the imperial outdoors the pauses by palomino some of our other trailers have air suspension too as well so very very cool suspension in my opinion it is really the best suspension on the market the air suspension to be able to really have a nice towing experience but also that ability to level and clear obstacles so thanks for watching you got any questions if this was useful if you like this information that we're giving out every week we're doing a little bit more in detail you know information for people that are really really interested in buying these trailers we always want to give a lot of value if you like this you know make some comments below let us know any other things that you want to know if you want to know more about this trailer or any of our trailers go down below there's a link and it will give you some information actually a brochure on this trailer a link to the tour of the x195 full tour go over to our youtube channel and check out all of our videos thank you so much for watching and have a nice holiday